we're going to show you how to export MIDI files from GarageBand for iOS. Let's get started. Well, it's so nice to be helped by computer-assisted drumming in GarageBand function and to listen to your drums being completely or perfectly in time. But this is also a problem because it makes your recording robotic. So you want to humanize it by... But you don't want to do it like manually because it's uh, too much work. So this is me trying to humanize my drums, recorded on the proper drum kit, but quantized for very pro recording results. But now I need to humanize them just a little bit. In order to do that, I need to first export this MIDI file out of GarageBand for iOS send or share the file through project option to my Mac Mini, okay? It does not work this uh, when you share it straight from uh, your GarageBand for me, so I did it like through Files app. You can see now I picked the uh, AirDrop the Bluetooth is not connected, but I just connect it and in a while I'm going to see what happens on my Mac mini side. Yeah, I, you can see on the in the right upper corner, top right corner, that the file um, asked for permission. I did permit it to happen. So now I'm going to open this from my download folder. Yeah, here it is. Click on it, open it, and the... Um, I'm not going to save the old one, but the new one I'm going to save just uh, to be safe, really. And now the file, the project from GarageBand iOS now is opened in GarageBand for Mac. What I'm going to do now, let me put my glasses on, I'm going to... There's an option here called add region to loop library so here i'm doing this i'm giving this the name so i can remember and f and find it through a loop search function in GarageBand for mac okay this is all good i create the apple loop from my track of my drums i want to and now by i want to export now by Apple C. I copy it from the browser, Apple Loop browsers, on my desktop by Apple V shortcut. Apple C, Apple V. So I have it here on my desktop. As you can see, it's an AIF, I think, format. That's the file. Jumped back on its place. Now I open the uh, program called GB2 MIDI, which you can install free from internet. GB2 MIDI. I run it. Yeah, run. Yeah, I'm going to run it and I'm going to find this file from my desktop and run through the program. And here it is. I found inside of the program my MIDI the same file but in MIDI format. Now it's right here. So I open the Reaper free program and I drag the uh, MIDI file into the Reaper door. Okay. Now when I double click on the re MIDI region, oh, just to make sure I can listen to it, I just um, open up the effect of VST effect of drums, it's, which is free as you can see. And now you can see the uh, a graphical representation that the thing is giving sound. Okay, you can see all those notes are on grid, but I select them all in Reaper. And now I use the function of humanize. I get to this editor by double clicking the MIDI region. Humanize. And here you can see 7% of uh, timing. I later found out it was too much. It, it uh, made my uh, 
thing to be too sloppy, so I have reduced it to 4%. But now you can see when I zoom it, out, zoom it in that there are, some of them are not longer right on grid, so they have been humanized. Okay, now I need to get it out from Reaper, so I use the menu function of export to a MIDI file, and I save it on my desktop. Okay, giving first the name so I can recognize it later. Okay, we are doing pretty good. Drums. 7% this time, but later I think I'm going to change it for 4%. 4%. Humanized. Okay, so let us go and send it. I save it on my desktop, but later, as you can see, I share it through the back through the airdrop to this time to Cubasis. And here in Cubasis, I can I, in my folder MIDI folder, I find this um, both seven percent and four percent humanized my MIDI files files right. And so I create a track, which is a software instrument. I pick up the uh, some sort of kit for it. AM Vintage Kit number two here. And I drag my MIDI file into the track. Yes, sir. Yeah. And let me hear it. Of course, it's a different instrument. It's not going to be sounding later uh, much better. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm trying to export this into my GarageBand iOS by making a creating a mix down first. So I have created a mix down from my file, and now I'm going to share it as a MIDI. The mix down is going to work, but the name of it is not uh, good, so I have to rename it. So I can recognize it in my file transfer file of a uh, folder, I mean, of GarageBand iOS. Okay, 4% humanized. This is the better one. Not that sloppy. So I share it by pressing the button on the uh, left. Okay, share it into my GarageBand file transfer. Open the garage band. As, as you can see, the loop icon has one number one on it, meaning that there is some new stuff going on in the file transfer folder. So I drag it into my thingy, and here it is. The only problem, what, let's hear it. Okay, that's cool. The problem with volume, as you can see, and uh, here I fix, oh, I just uh, rename it as a so-called humanized 4%, so me, so I can remember it later on. But the I have to use this trick of uh, gaining uh, reduction because the file is, the MIDI file is too loud. But this is the thing of automation wrongly set uh, it's, I think, an interpretation thing, so you can fix it by opening an uh, automation editor and removing all the automation points. And then you have freedom of whatever volume you want. But have a look here. The notes are no longer on grid, so we have humanized successfully. And this is how you uh, export MIDI files from your GarageBand iOS in my case, in order to humanize it. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you will. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.